All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to do a nice dual space exercise. Namely, if I give you some random functionals, let's find a basis whose dual bases are precisely those functionals. So in this case, let V be R2 and let consider the following functionals, which again are just linear transformations from V to the field. So here, for example, it's scalar functions. So f1 of xy is x minus 2y, and f2 of xy is x plus y. So those are linear transformations from v to uh, r. So in particular, those are in v star. And the goal is find a basis. V1, I guess let's call it beta. Beta equals V1 and V2 of V, which is R2, for which F1, F2 is a dual basis. Beta star equals F1, F2 is a dual basis. And again, given a basis, it's very easy to construct a dual basis. And I've shown this in a previous video. What, we ha what we're doing here is now given a dual basis, find the original basis. And by the way, this is always possible to do in the finite dimensional case. And I've done a video on that. It's really cool. It explores the double duality principle, if you'd like. Now, what is a dual basis? It just means F1, it's one on V1 and zero on V2, and F2 is the opposite. So in other words, you wanna find vectors V1 and V2 in R2, such that F1 is one here and zero here, and F2 is the opposite. It's zero on V1, but one on V2. So the point is, we know what F1 is. F1 at V1 equals 1. Uh, F1 at V2 equals 0. And F2 at V1 equals 0. And F2 at V2 equals 1. In particular, let's explore those four equations to figure out what V1 and V2 are. And here's the thing, V1 and V2, they're vectors in R2. So you can write them or the form something comma something. So suppose, and by the way, you can do that uh, also in general vector spaces where you just use coordinates. So suppose V1 equals to AB equals to A times one zero plus B times 0, 1. Then what do we know? We know F1 at V1 equals 1. So in particular, F1 at A comma B equals 1. But now let's use our definition of F1. Gotta use a definition at some point. F takes X and subtracts 2Y. So this is A minus 2B. So a minus 2p equals 1. And let's see, f1 at v2, that equals 0. So if you want, uh, so v2, let's say, equals, well, we don't even need that other fact. So uh, v2 is cd. cd, so f1 at v2 is 0. So f1 at cd equals 0. And therefore, using the uh, definition again of F1, we get C minus 2D equals zero. And then let's continue. F2 at V1 equals zero. So F2 at AB equals zero, but F2 is just X plus Y, so A plus B equals zero. And lastly, F2 at V2 
equals 1. So F2 at CD is DVD, and that's C plus D equals 1. So in particular, we get four equations, but we can just use two of them at a time to figure out what A and B are. So for example, let's use this one and this one to solve for A and B. So what you get is A minus 2B equals 1 and A plus B equals 0. Here we can easily solve for A and B. In general, use row reduction and you should get A equals 1 third and B is minus 1 third. And this actually tells you your vector. V1 is 1 third and minus 1 third. Good. And then let's use the second pair to figure out V2. So C minus 2D equals 0 and C plus D equals 1. And I think you just get a 2 thirds, 1 third. thirds, one third. So that should give you C and that should give you D. And that is your answer then. So the answer is what is our basis? Beta, which is simply a one third minus one third and two thirds, one third. And here's the cool thing. Using that, you can easily check if your answer is correct. For example, let's check that F1V1 equals 1. But F1V1, it's 1 third minus 1 third. And that's 1 third minus 2 times minus 1 third. And you can check that this is 1. And continue, show that F1 of V2 equals 0 equals zero, etc., etc. So indeed, if this is our basis beta, then beta star, which is F1 and F2, is the dual basis. And the cool thing is, we can always do this in the finite dimensional case, which I think is awesome. All right, I hope you'd like this dual space extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.